let's actually add some backgrounds to our game. So I already imported some images and I already made sure that they are set to user interface and our compression. No mitmaps in the mitmap generation. Texture group is UI. The clamp mode is set to X and Y and the actually that's all we need to do. Okay, so that's fine. I already made sure those settings are already set for our images and these images are from itch.io. Specifically, they are the modern visual novel backgrounds by Conet. Um, one thing to note is that they are 1280 by 800 pixels, which is not a 16 by 9 resolution, but I mean, this is a tutorial. I don't really care if it's t slightly stretched. Um, they fall under the CC BY 4.0 license, which I believe means you can modify them and you can use them for commercial games. However, you have to give credit to the original author, who is Conet, aka Angel Wehrman. Okay. Also, uh, before I forget, in our participant, I got rid of all the stuff after the finish animating, where we set our translation, um, where we stopped our jump animation because, well, it didn't really work to make it stop, so I just got rid of it. Also, I mean, it just... It's not going to look too bad if your animations keep going, um, especially if your characters are now invisible or something. It, it's just not going to look too bad unless you have some really long animation. In that case, you probably would want to stop it, but in other cases, it really doesn't matter. I could have sworn I had a solution to make it stop uh, a few months ago, but I don't remember what it is now. So in our dialog, let's add a image to our canvas panel. And let's actually make this at the very top, in other words, underneath everything else. And let's stretch this across the entire screen, so set that to fill and offset of zero. Give it the modern dorm room one image, and now we have a background. <coughs> I'm going to change this name to background image. Compile and save this, and if we go back to our graph, we could change the um, our background by modifying our modify name value function. You know, we could add a switch on our selection to say change background, and based off our name value, we would find a local. We would look through a local dictionary or map or whatever, and set our brush based off what we find. Um, problem with that is that it doesn't give us a nice smooth translation between images which you know most visual novels would have or and want um, so let's do that uh, actually let me you know there are some cases where you would want to just change our background like this so we might as well take care of that right now so let's get our background image and say well set brush from texture right there um, so we're changing our background this is what we're doing and we are going to get a local dictionary, local variables, let's add one. Let's call this backgrounds. Type is going to be name. There it is. It's going to be a dictionary of, what is this, texture 2D? Yeah. Texture 2D. Now there is a way we could um, not have to make a dictionary and we could find this based off our asset manager and doing stuff like that but it's uh, a little more complicated than I want to get into for this tutorial maybe in another video we'll do that for our codex or something but for now we just do it like this so we could add a image we'll call this bedroom day or bedroom one whatever and that would be our modern dorm room one and we could do another one for Bedroom 2, and this would be our modern board uh, dorm room 2. If we compile save and go back to our script, script over there, uh, when she says I am Yuri, we could change, we could do a enter event and tell our widget to modify name. Be, that name being change background and the background we want now is bedroom 2 
Let's save this, and if we hit play, go to our start, go to the next line, and bedroom 2 does not show up. Did I... Bedroom 2, this should be the one. Oh, because I actually never <laughs> looked for it in our background. So get our backgrounds and do a find, and we're going to find based off our value name, and plug this into our texture, like that. That was my bad. That was a horrible mistake. Let's compile, save, and play again. Start, and now it switches to the other one. You'll notice that there was no translation, though. I mean, transition, though, which is sort of what we want. Um, this might sound a little, little strange, but I'm actually going to do that in the next video because I have screwed this up so many times I cannot count, and it. I don't want to repeat these five minutes any more times, so I'll do that in the next video.